Gamer, and welcome on back to more The Minish Cap on today's episode. We are probably very lost. That seems to be the theme with our uh, with our episodes as of late. But actually, no, we're, we're fine. We're heading back right now to Hyrule Town. We can actually use this convenient rock as a nice little, little uh, shortcut thingy, Bob. And we're heading on back to Hyrule Town to get some boots by waking up a man with a mushroom. Something about this seems illegal. Not sure what part of it, maybe all of it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get some boots by waking up a man with a mushroom. Let's go on into the town. Hyrule Town, welcome friends. We need to go to the boot shop, which is up here. I was correct. Hello, good morning. If I recall correctly, and I guarantee you that I do, my boy, I think Syrup said to stand in front of the sleeping person and press R. Well, uh, just, just like this. Here you go! What? What is that terrifyingly bad smell? Wake up, mushroom! I should have guessed, so you woke me up? Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Ha! Huh? What now? There are more new shoes! You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. You must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell me you what. Because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them! Hold on a sec, though, I just want to finish this one last bit. There we go. Squeaky, squeaky. And there we go. Here, take these. These are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. Boots of Pegasus. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with some shoe problems. Zelda's a rock. Like, that's not like a, like a, uh, like a nice way of calling her like Im immovable and a great leader. No, she's literally a rock. Hey, Chicky Bee is here. Oh, hello there. I'm selling creamy, nutritious long, long milk for 100 rupees per bottle. Would you like to buy some? No, you're a scam artist. Oh, well, ask me anytime. I'm always right here. Because you don't sleep. Because you may be crazy. We are now looking for the swamp, which is this way, if I remember correctly, which I do because I'm getting better at this game. Is it actually over here? It's to the left. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, no, it's down below. I did a stupid. Well, I was successful for a solid five seconds, everybody. I consider that to be a great success. And we're heading to the left now from the Western Wood. That's right, I remember now. Also, Hold a, uh, ah, apparently this is a different Zelda game. Hey, equip boots. Whee! You can't sort out and, and dash? Aw. In past Zelda games, when you, you could dash with your sword out, but apparently not on this one. All right, here we go. Whee! It's that easy, really. Big rock. Lift. Does that say lift? No, okay. Um. Oh, we got there. Okay, so can we climb this? We can. So where are we going inside this swamp? Spooky bridges. <laughs> Jeff bridges. And now we're gonna go up here. Oh, it's a snake. It's a rope. It's a rope snake. And let's see. Down here we have an exit area. Hello. Wow, that is one nasty looking statue that I had such an evil glower to it. Oh, so it does. Um, can't get through there. Ha! Huh. His eye is impenetrable. Let's flip him over. Apparently, Packy is not strong enough for such a cause. Packy, you have failed me once again, and I am upset. All right, so we don't know the way through there. Which is saddening, to be sure. I uh, can't open up that. So we're on a general hunt for for secrets right now. Ooh. If we get to the left side of this, we can push that rock for an easy shortcut. Which we don't need right now. Uh, what do we have up here? Ah, that looks interesting. A big another statue guy. Here we go. This looks promising. Uh-oh. Hello. Let's defend ourselves against this scrub. What do you got for me? 
I want to sell you arrows, but you don't have a bow. Come back later. Oh, wait. He wants a few kinstones. Sure. I might have one of those. I do. The two kinstones fit perfectly. It makes... Like Ezel in the background. All right, goodbye. It opens up a thorny area. Very good. All right, cool. It's in the Minish Woods. I'll remember that for later. And by that, I mean you should probably make a YouTube comment when I eventually start having to get all the stuff that I missed. Um, hmm. Let's go to the left. Ah! No, this is a terrible decision. Wait. Not a terrible decision. Oh yes. Okay, so we can shrinkify. But there's also this hole of mystery. Um, I guess we'll go vi visit the miniature in this local area. Can I dash? I cannot dash as a small one. All right, here we go. This looks like a job for the item that we forgot existed. Wee! All right. <laughs> Puffing away at the speed of sound. Got nowhere to go. Gotta... Blah, 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 blah. Sonic music. In general, Sonic music. Okay. Ups a daisy. Dismount. And here we are into a, into a tiny hole in the ground. Ah, the god! Who put all these here? Die, foul creatures. I have a sword. I'll, I will suck you right up. Well, that slows them down. They don't like that. That didn't really actually do anything, I don't think. All right. He just runs around in circles. Big chest, yo. Bow? The bow! Now I can take out enemies from afar. That's useful. Right. I said it was such, such a wonder in my eye. Oh, I have to cross this again. This is a good time to thank two people that did some really great things. First up is Autumn, who donated $25 to uh, to write love on her arms. Oh, it feels weird to say. To, to, write. Yeah, anyways. Thank you to Autumn for $25 towards the charity. Uh, very much appreciated. And also, $100 from Based NT. Thank you, as always, for your support of wonderful charities. And, of course, I will remind everybody what that charity is at the end of the video, because right now we are back on the run. We're no longer doing anything repetitive, so I have to talk about the game. Specifically about how we now have a, a, a uh, what's it called? A, a bow and arrow. So let's uh, let's see what happens if we shoot this guy with it. Aha! Ah! Hold on, can I kill him now or does he have to be killed with bow exclusively? No, he must be killed with bow exclusively. Ha! Ah! Okay. He's impervious. He's dead. Five arrows. Storm in my quiver, which we never mentioned I have. Oopsies. Die, rope snake. All right, where does this go? Where are we going? Let's find out. Ah, uh, let's cross over here. Good. Aha, rope snake, you shall be defeated. And it has been. All right, so a big, big open area here. Yo, what do we have in this thread? I love grave robbing. It's one of my favorite activities. Ooh, I will gladly take number three of our piece of hearts. And who are you? You're a ghosty guy. Though my body may perish, I am still the true master swordsman of Hyrule. Swift Blade, the first spirit of the swordsman. If you trade with me, I will teach you skills that are out of this world. Hmm, it seems you are not yet ready to train with me. Come back when you've all seven tiger scrolls. Okay, I don't have any tiger, I, I have one tiger scroll, do I? I have one tiger scroll. That's almost seven, and by almost I mean no, ow! Rope snake, screw off, I'm trying to talk. All right, let's, um, let's see, here we go. Don't be mean to rope snake, he's he's trying to live his life. Maybe maybe one day he'll just have to live life as a as a giant worm. All right, what do we have over here? Ah, uh, free money. Oh, always appreciated. Ah, uh, big rock. Big rock. What are you doing here, big rock? So nothing here of importance. Wee. Ah, I've seen enough Minish Cap to know where this is going. 
Hold on, sacred powers. It's now another thing. It's a stone marker crumble. I know. You know how many times I see it happen. It still rattles me. I know because you say that same line every time. It's 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 hysterical. I know. Let's try to shoot this rock guy with my arrows. Arrow time! Oh. Ha! Run! He's dead. All right, up here we have a big empty abyss that we can cross. Oh, good. Here we go. So where are we going with this? I think if we go to the left here, it's actually good for us. We go down here. Because then we can at least push this uh, across. And what do we have here? It's a golden kinstone, please, dear lord. What sort of undescribable magic will that give us? Find out next time on the Minish Cap Z. No, just kidding. I actually have no idea where it goes, so I'll just hold on to it for now inside my little pouch. And we'll move on. Uh, so do I want to try to go to the top? Or do I want to go to the left? Oh, what's down here? No, no, definitely not. Ah, let's try to the left instead then. Here we go. Up. All right, now where does this lead us? Hmm. Have we been here before? I feel like I may have been here before. Oh, hold on. These, these flowers are mysterious. What, what does it mean? Ah, a battle time is what it means. Okay. Down the stairs and into dungeon of creepy snakes. Ooh. We don't need to kill all of them. Aha, don't mind, hey. Dear Lord. Hmm, so a guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care while fighting it. Uh, ho, you are a spooky fellow. Oh, good. Yes. Got him once. There we go. Hit his shield, then off to the side. He's dead. Really was that easy all along. Another golden kidstone piece. What does it mean? Still don't know. Oh, I think I might understand. I think I must understand perfectly. I'm about to use these golden kinstone pieces to open up an area inside here that we haven't found yet. Or we'll soon find maybe to the south. Huh? No, that's where we came from, isn't it? Ah, another, another guardian. You shall be vanquished. Huh. One. Two, dead. I love numbers. Okay. Ah, blue kid stone piece. And rupee likes, rupee likes. Okay, free cash, good to see. All right. I love when they they have trap monsters. You've activated my trap card. And up here we have, we, we need to check out the north is what we need to check out. Ah, how about the south now? We've been here before. Ah, okay, I see what we're gonna do here, though. All right, I come up to this guy. I always feel like I have to touch them. They're not Armos. One, two, three, you're dead. And more arrows, always appreciated. Activate the boots. Boots, boots. Using the uh, control stick is very difficult. Ah, oh, God. All right, we're good. Where are we going? Uh, aha, in a, in, a, in a spooky cave, number three. It's gold kinstone piece. We definitely need to use them inside the swamp. I wonder if it was that lower left-hand portion that I didn't really explore that well. Let's in fact go take a look. Uh, let's see, we need to, we need to board the, the train. How do I get up there? Aha, very good, very well. Now let's see what happens if we go down here then. Da, 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 da. Look at the Link's eyes. He's so interested inside the world. All right. So I swear it was down here then. Very well. Ah, we need to go further down. Ah, uh, no good. No good. 
Aha, yes, look at this. You want to fuse with me? Well, take this mysterious statue. There's number one. I'm just going to continue this twice. In the meantime, I'll tell you guys quickly about To Rate Love on Her Arms, which is the charity we're raising for this month uh, uh, during my Let's Play. If you donate to it using links in the description, your money will go to a great organization, organization called To Rate Love on Her Arms, which aims to present hope to people struggling with depression, self-harm, suicide, addiction, and they also uh, invest inside research and treatment. So uh, overall, a really wonderful charity. So far, $195 has been raised by the Fund for Freedom community overall, and we'd like to make that number even higher. So donate inside the description, and I will, of course, read your comments on the next episode of the Minish Cap, which will be tomorrow, because I need to go and <laughs> find more gold. Gold kinstone pieces, because apparently they're quite the commodity. Look at them. They're, they're happy statues now. Anyways, but I'm done. See you guys next time.